Hi girls, guys, and non-binary pals. That is not my own original. I heard it on a podcast, but I thought it was really fun. So I wanted to say it for here. But hi guys, it's my first time filming in a hot minute. I'm so sorry, I was very stressed. I'm leaving for Germany in a couple weeks, and no, actually a couple days. I don't know why I said a couple weeks. It's like seven days before our trip to Germany. School started. I've been stressed. Here we are. I don't have a lot of cards to put away because I haven't really been buying and trading recently, but I've also changed my collection a little bit again. I thought we could put away things and we can kind of go through and I can show you what I've changed. The main thing that I have to put away is these twice cards. So we're definitely going to start with twice and there are some changes to my twice binder. Okay. So first my twice binder, all my twice cards are back in this one binder. This is the purple. I think this is a two inch, maybe a three inch binder. I actually don't really know. So the first change you'll see here is that for all the older eras, I am going to be collecting Jonghyun and Daehyun. Jonghyun, Chewy, and Daehyun. Like I mentioned in that last video when I was talking about the Twice concert and everything, I just absolutely love Miss Daehyun. I just fell in love with her. And I don't want to go back and fully collect OT9. So I figured this would be a good way of adding Daehyun but not collecting OT9. Plus, I just like this three layout for twice a lot. I think it looks so nice, so clean. And this one, these are just some cards that I had from when I was still collecting OT9. And I figured we'd put them in together since, like I said, I am officially collecting Daehyun. In terms of Jungyun and Chewy though, I'm almost done. I think for Jungyun, I have a total of like seven cards that I'm missing from her entire Korean album collection. For Chewy, I think I'm missing a little bit more. I'm missing a little bit more, but mostly just her more and more cards and I think Summer Nights. Summer Nights for everybody is just not good as well as more and more. I don't know why more and more and summer nights are the hardest two eras for me apparently to collect. The next thing is we have this Jungyeon Ice Wet Open card which I'm so excited about. I've needed this card for so so long and it's one of my favorite Jungyeon cards. I call this Grandma Jungyeon. I don't know why. It gives me grandma vibes like I don't know like I don't know. I just love it. So we have Grandma Jungyeon. And then I have this Chewy coming in, which I'm very excited about because that was the last Chewy that I needed. And I think all the other Eyes Wide Open cards for Jungyeon and Chewy, I have either claimed or already coming in. Some of these I need to change to my double-sided pages because we bought some more finally. The last Eyes Wide Open set ended here. And so I just put these two random sets for Daehyun and like Jungyeon, Daehyun, and Chewy are my top three here because I do want to collect my top three for it. So the um, result file from Formula of Love I put here and the target cards from between one and two are here just to fill out this page. I know technically, chronologically, it doesn't work, but for now I'm going to leave it like that. If not, I might move these and then make one of my eyes wide open cards like an ot9 set but for now i'm okay with this and then starting with alcohol free it's going to be ot9 so this is what i have thus far and we do have some cards to put away in these sections okay so first card we have is this daehyun we now have four on this page and then for these we have this Jihyo and we have the Daehyun for this page as well. So we only need three more cards for this set. And that is all for Formula of Love. And then between one and two, oops, between one and two has already been done. And then for ready to be, we have a couple of things. Majority of the things that I have to put away for twice today, oh, that is not where Jihyo goes. The majority of the twice things that I have to put away today are actually um, non-album things. And that's where you'll see the biggest change to my twice collection. And then the last twice thing I have. Oh, okay, apparently I traded for this twice and I didn't even realize, so. Also, this is not where Mina goes. 
Well, if anybody needs Che, <laughs> let me know because we can trade. But as you can see from my non-album stuff, I have decided to do it like this, where I am just going to give both Jungyeon and Chewy their own pages. And then as I acquire things and get things, I will shift things. Um, this is what Velvet Roulette does in her collection. And I feel like this way, like my main priority, especially for all my groups, because I did add some collections, is to just focus on album cards for the time being. And then as I can and when I can, I want to get non-album cards. Having it to where they were spread out like side by side, it made me more inclined to just keep buying non-album cards to fill up the space. But like this, I'm already more satisfied and I already feel like I've gotten a lot of non-album things for the both of them. A lot of things that I never thought I would be able to get. For example, I've always wanted these school looks cards. I think they're really fun. I think they're really cool. I only have one for Jungyeon, but I was able to get both of Chewy's and then the fancy monographs. I'm actually really close to being done with their monographs and uh, as a whole for both of them. Um, I also have Jungyeon's Taste of Her Formula of Love. And then I have one of her pre-order benefits from this year's season's greetings. I think this is the With Moo one. And in terms of Jungyeon, that is all I have for non-album. And then for Chewy non-album, like I said, I have both of her school looks now. This set in particular is my favorite. I just think it's really fun and colorful. So I'm really happy to have Chewy's. We're actually gonna put her in the middle. And then the other one that I have Jogian's equivalent for. And then we have this card, which I think is a season's greetings card if I don't, if I remember correctly. And so the front page for Chewy is done. And then I have her fancy monograph. I think I have almost all of the same monographs for both of them. Other than the monographs, all of these Chewy um, non-album things I was actually able to trade for. So I traded somebody for this lenticular. And then this is also a season's greetings if I remember correctly, which is really cute. I really like this one. I think the pink and the yellow looks really nice on her. And then we have this card, which is her alcohol free card which is probably my favorite of her monographs that I have so far it's between this one and her her twice to gram one I would like her signal one more if like they took it in better lighting I feel like the photo itself is pretty dark and then we have this card this is yeah so this is from the twice three concert trading set which it's very hollow it's really nice to look at and then we have this formula of love monograph so yeah so for chewy i already have like a whole double-sided nine pocket of non-album cards plus some extra for her and jungyeon is slowly slowly catching up but yeah and then behind here i just have my other two ot9 sets that i wanted to keep also this should be right here i don't want to take the d icon off of this because i just kind of like the way i have it set up but I do need to, I was contemplating sleeving everybody in their member color sleeves again, but then I changed my mind, but I guess I forgot to go back and change the sleeves for these, but yes. So this is what my twice binder looks like, and actually it's not atrociously full, like I thought it was going to be way more full than it is, and maybe once I get some more cards and you know like more of my sets start filling out, it will get really atrociously thick but I actually have a good like still inch of space in here, which is really nice. On the theme of twice, we're gonna go into my like twice solo slash subunits. So for now, we have the Nyon pages, which are just kind of set up like this. I made them double spreads and I would like to collect a nine pocket of like other cards from each of their solos so far to like fill up the front but i haven't gotten around to that i would like to finish her actual album cards before i do that i've only been really trading for solo album cards so maybe i should just like actually finally buy the last two but here's the spread for jihyo so i was going to, i also would like to collect misamo but the last time i looked on makari japan um, for the Misamo cards, they were going for like $70, and I I love Misamo. I think that Masterpiece is exactly as it it is self-titled 
masterpiece is very correct. I love it so much. I just, I don't want to spend that much for their cards. And I would kind of want to do like a spread like I've done so far, like a row of Mina, a row of Momo, a row of Sana. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. I do really like their their subunit debut, uh, but right now that is just kind of pending. But anyway, so for Jihyo Solo, as you can tell, I'm going to do the same thing I did with Nayeon, which is make it a spread. And then I'm going to put three pops here or three just kind of like album cards to fill up this space. And then I'm going to do a nine pocket. I forgot to put a divider in. So you're just going to have to pretend there's a divider here. Um, I've only bought in one album so far because like I said, I've just been busy and stressed. So I haven't had time to go buy it or like really search and search for new cards. Also, the other thing I want to say that I'm going to try to do is do these kind of fillers. We have tons of like extra sleeves um, and my boyfriend has decided to stop using some of our sleeve colors. So I decided I was going to use some of the sleeve colors and then I would switch them to white sleeves because I've noticed a lot of people have been like sleeving on their channels lately. And for whatever reason, that like extra couple seconds of sleeving is very satisfying to me when I watch. So I decided that I would also start sleeving my cards on camera. And so I'm going to kind of do what I think Velvet Roulette really does it the most. And there's somebody else that I know that does it where they keep like the sleeves in their binder. So that way when they go to sleep the cards, they just take it out of the binder. I think a lot of people do that actually. But as we know, I always watch Rachel's videos. So, um, I always got to hype up my girl. Anyway. Next binder. Next is this binder, which I am calling the the groups I only collect one member from binder. So with my Lily collection, I have left it to where, but I have made my collection to where I only leave spaces for things that I already have coming or album cards. I'm gonna do this with basically all of my, with almost all of my collections, um, kind of similar to how my twice not album section was set up but seeing a whole bunch of empty spaces in my binder is not as exciting and I don't know it's it's gotten to the point where all it does is stresses me out and makes me feel like I'm never going to catch up but I do have and you can see that I started it with like putting in the white sleeves so I have a Lily Bl Lily's blind package card finally coming I'm so excited about that and I have one of her collect book PCs from that the merch that they release in between Admaria or Admire and Expargo and then the rest of my Expargo album cards will go here no rest of my Entworth album cards will go here the rest of my Expargo album cards will go here and then we do have this card that finally came in I think this is Make Star no my music taste this is one of her my music taste pops from last era and I think it's so cute. It's so adorable. I love all these close-up selfies. I think they're so much fun and so cute. So she's going in the middle. I did leave a space here and a space here for Expargo because even though I don't technically have anything else coming for these two eras, I just know I'm going to eventually because I love the Expargo pops so much. Like they're some of my favorite and mixes pobs so I just went ahead and left space because it's not unlikely that I will end up with more and then this is for the new era one of my goes has come in but since they weren't going to be able to send out until around the time that I would be in Germany and my apartment complex annoys the mess out of me and if you don't pick up your mail within a certain time they just automatically return it to sender and since I'm going to be gone for a week I don't want that to happen to my mail so they're holding on to it but I put in white sleeves for the ones that I already have coming in. The rest of these have been purchased. I just don't have them like officially, like they haven't officially arrived to the GOM. So I haven't put the blue sleeve or the white sleeves in. And then this is one of my new collections. Um, if you are familiar with these version names, you might know who this is going to be. But this is actually so, so once glassy trivia for those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time. I was actually going to collect this idol at the start of the year and then a whole bunch of shenanigans went down with their company 
and so I felt uncomfortable collecting them because of that because I am definitely a completionist collector like especially in terms of photo card or like album photo cards I like having all of the album photo cards if I'm going to collect an idol I don't care about having all the non-album things but definitely the album photo cards I really want all of them I mean I have an entire decade project about collecting all the album photo cards for my favorite albums so I feel like that makes sense but because I couldn't do that because we were we were all boycotting their company um this idol's company this probably is a dead giveaway on who it is I decided that I would wait and decide how I felt when they re-debuted or what was going to happen when they re-debuted and they're re-debuting um their their first their re-debut or their debut happens in September all of my groups are having comebacks in December, in September. They either had it in August or September. We had Jihyo, we had Yuri, we have Purple Kiss, we have this idol that I'm talking about, and even Sejong from Gugudan is having a comeback, which is absolutely wild to me. I never thought I would get Gugudan in the year of 2023. But this idol is going to be Yojin. I still have this one pop from that I got when I got my Flip That albums. Because like I said, I was going to start collecting her more fully. But I just... Mm, I just couldn't do it because of BBC. And then especially while all the members were still in BBC, it felt really wrong to buy... And this is me. I'm not saying that it was wrong for anybody else or anything is how I felt and I'm entitled to my feelings, but I felt wrong buying even from resellers because I felt like it gave resellers an incentive to continue buying from BBC. And I didn't want to give anybody any incentive or reason to buy from BBC. So yeah, I have gone ahead and set up for their debut album, which is actually really nice. It's literally three versions with three cards for each member. That's like perfection, but that's who's in this binder now. And the last binder with some changes is this binder, which was just the Purple Kiss binder. And I eventually will probably have to put Purple Kiss in their own binder again. But for now, I do not, I, they're sharing with some other groups. So the Purple Kiss section itself hasn't changed at all, except for I finally made room for all of the pop sets that I would like, or like picked out all the pop sets that I would like to collect for them. And then... This is also going to be now known as basically my Kingdom Puzzle Binder. I was going to call it my whatever their group name is here, but I don't remember how to pronounce it. I heard somebody pronounce it in one of their videos and I completely forgot. I don't understand how to pronounce it. But one of the groups that I've added to my collection is going to be Haiki. I will be collecting OT4. Yeah, so one of the groups I will be collecting is Haiki and I'm going to be collecting OT4. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube collecting them this way and it didn't doesn't require a lot of pages to collect them in the way that I set it up so I really like this but when we get when I start getting cards I'll see if I still like that if not I'll just set it up in like OT for like eight patterns or like in the eight pattern spread with the four four but on this front page we have Huiso because I'm pretty sure Huiso is my bias and high key I low-key bias like three of them out of four members, so who knows? This is going to be Huiso's page for the front. And then I also wanted to do it like this because Huiso wasn't in Athletic Girls and the other three members were, so this works perfectly because you have Athletic Girls here and then the rest of their cards and it doesn't get like messed up because Huiso doesn't have an Athletic card. So that is going to be my high key collection and set up for and then the other member that I'm going to collect didn't technically make it to the final lineup but one of her group members did and I'm going to put the actual like final like group once they start releasing things in this binder as well which is why I said it's probably purple kiss will probably not be able to live in here because there's so much stuff for purple kiss because I collect OT7 and a whole bunch of pop sets for purple kiss but the last group is going to be rock and punches Jody um so I set it up just like this. I kind of want to collect Sohi for Market Punch too. I definitely just want to collect Jury for now. One, I don't know how much of a collecting community there is for Rocket Punch. If there really is, I'm hoping with Kingdom Puzzle there will be a bigger one now. And two, 
Jodi, I feel like keeps, we keep doing her wrong. Like she's gone on two survival shows now. She hasn't made it to the final lineup. She always makes it to like really close and then gets eliminated. Like I love her so dearly and so much. I really wanted to collect her and support her. And so that is the other collection I've added. And that is kind of how my binders are looking at the moment. I'm very excited and happy to show you my new binders. I've missed filming. I'm probably gonna be gone again after this video goes up, but hopefully I can have a more consistent filming schedule again soon, maybe, hopefully. But yeah, I hope you guys have, have had a good day and a good week, and thank you for watching. Until the next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep collecting. Bye.